our Battle Chapter 22 talks about the Eastern Tribes return home. This is what it says. At that time, Joshua summoned the Reubenites and the Gadites and half the tribe of Manasseh and said to them, You have kept all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, and have obeyed my voice and all that I have commanded you. You have not forsaken your brothers these many days down to this day, but you have been careful to keep the charge of the Lord your God, of course, Christ. And now the Lord your God has given rest to your brothers as, as he has promised them. Therefore, turn and go to your tents in the land where your possession lies, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side of the Jordan. Only be careful to observe the commandment and the law that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you to love the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments to, and to cling to him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away and they went to their tents. Now to the one half of the tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given them possession in Bashan, but the other half Joshua had given them possession beside their brothers in the land west of the Jordan. And when Joshua sent them away to their homes and blessed them, he said to them, Go back to your tents with much wealth and with very much livestock, with silver, gold, bronze, and iron, and, much and with much clothing. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your brothers, so the people of Reuben and the people of Gad and half tribe of Manasseh return home, parting from the people of Israel at Shiloh, which is, the, which is in the land of Canaan, to go to the land of Gilead with their own, their own land, of which they have possessed themselves by command of the Lord through Moses. Eastern tribes altar of witness. And when they came to the region of Jordan, that is in the land of Canaan, the people of Reuben, the people of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by the Jordan, an altar of imposing size. The people of Israel heard it, heard it said, Behold, the people of Reuben and the people of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh have built the altar that frontier of the land of Canaan in the region about the Jordan on this side that belongs to the people of Israel. And when the people of Israel heard of it, the whole assembly of the people of Israel gathered at Shiloh to make war against them. Uh, let's see. Then the people of Israel sent the people of Reuben and the people of Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh in the land of Gilead. Thesis, the son of Eleazar the priest, and with him ten chiefs, one from each of the tribal families of Israel, every one of them, they had a, the head of a family among the clans of Israel. And they came to, to people of Reuben, people of Gad, and Hatchah of Manasseh, and the land of Gilead, and they said to them, Thus says the whole congregation of the, of the Lord, what is, the, what is this breach of faith that ye have committed against the God of Israel, who is of course Christ, and turning away this day from following the Lord by building yourselves an altar this day in rebellion against the Lord? Have we not met, or have we not had enough of, the, of sin at pure, from which even yet we have not cleansed ourselves, and for, and for which there came a plague upon the congregation of the Lord? That you too must turn away this day from following the Lord, and if you and if you too rebel against the Lord today, then tomorrow he will he will be angry with the whole congregation of Israel. But now the land of your, of your possession is unclean. Pass over to the Lord's land. For the Lord's tabernacle stands and take for yourselves a possession among us. Only do not rebel against the Lord or make us as rebels by building for yourselves an altar other than the altar, than the altar of the Lord your God. Do not ache in the son of Zerah break faith in a matter of the, of the devoted things and, and wrath fell upon all the congregation of Israel. And he did, and did, and did oh, this again. He did not perish alone for his iniquity. People, and the people of Reuben, the people of Gad, and half tribe of Manasseh said and answered and to the heads of the families of Israel, The mighty one, God the Lord, the mighty one, God the Lord, is of course Christ. He knows and let Israel itself know. If it was in rebellion or in breach of faith against the Lord, do not spare us today. The building an, for building altar to turn away from following the Lord. Or if we did so to offer burnt offerings or grain offerings or peace offerings on it, the Lord himself take vengeance. No, but we did it for, from fear that in time to come, that in time to come, your children might say to our children, "What have you to do with the Lord, the God of Israel? For the Lord has made the Jordan a boundary between us and you, you people of Reuben and people of Gad. You have no portion in the you have no portion in the Lord. So your children might make our children cease to worship the Lord. Therefore, we said." Let us now build an altar, not for burnt offerings, nor, 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 nor for sacrifice, but to be a witness between us and you, and between our generations after us, that we do, that we perform the service of the Lord in His presence, and with our burnt offerings, and sacrifices, and peace offerings. 
so that so your children will not say to our children in time to come, you have no portion in the in the Lord. And we thought if this should be said to us or or to our descendants in time to come, we we should say, behold, the copy of the Lord, which our fathers made. Not for burnt offerings nor for sacrifice, but to be a witness between us and you. Far be it from us that we should rebel against the Lord and turn away from and turn away this day from following the Lord by building an altar for burnt offering, to grant offering or, sac or sacrifice other than the altar of the Lord our God that stands before the, before his tabernacle. When Phephas, the priest and chief's congregation, the heads of the families of Israel who were with him, heard the words that the people of Reuben and the people of Gad and the people of Manasseh spoke, it was good in their eyes. And Phephas, the son of Eleazar, the priest, said to the people of Reuben, the people of Gad, people of Manasseh, Today we know that the Lord is in our midst because you have not committed the speech of faith against the Lord. Now you have delivered the people of Israel from the land of, from the hand of, of the Lord. Then Phephas, the son of Eleazar, the priest and the chiefs, returned from the people of Reuben, the people of Gad, and the land of Gilead, and to the land of Canaan, to the people of Israel, and brought it brought back word to them, and their fort was good in, in the eyes of the people of Israel. And the people, the people of Israel blessed God and spoke no more of making war against them to destroy the land where the people of Reuben and the people of Gad were settled. The people of Reuben and the people of Gad called the altar witness for, they said, it is a witness between us, the Lord is God. So basically 22, uh, the tribe, or the eastern tribes actually, um, go over the Jordan to Jordan um, to, take, to, to take the land of course and and in doing so they, they build an altar to God uh, yeah they, they build an altar to God and but Israel thinks it's, it's an altar to a, to a false God but it's not it's, it's just an altar to God uh, of, um, of Israel giving him praise for allowing them to take the land so he's Basically, got a real, it was basically a real big confusion as far as it really was. Yeah, they, these these eastern tribes of Israel who, 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 actually, who actually took over Jordan, um, they were just building an altar to God, and Israel got um, confused about it. They thought they thought it was to a false god, but in reality, it was to God. They just got confused about it. But anyway, that's that's 22 talks about the eastern tribes return home, and the eastern tribes altar a witness. So um and twenty three will be next year in a minute.